What is the chain rule? Chain rule is of course another key rule in differentiation apart from a product rule that would allow you to differentiate any kind of function. Let's talk about why we need the chain rule first. So if you want to differentiate a function like this, if you hadn't done chain rule, you would have had to expand the square 4x squared minus 20x plus 25 using the distributive property of differentiation where you can differentiate separately for each term. But what if I change the power to the power of 10? Well, that's going to cause some trouble if you want to expand the power of 10 all out. That's going to be 11 unique terms. It's going to take too much time. Or you could have some function like sine of x squared plus 5. This particular form is not in the standard formula that I have gone through entirely in this video where I crack the pattern and make it more memorable. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Anyway, you cannot use any formula. So the question is, how would you differentiate these two functions? Of course, we need the chain rule. Now to make chain rule very intuitive and simple, you need these two key skills. First, you need to know what operation must come first and which one must come last. So in this case, you would have to do inside the parentheses first, right? So that's 2x minus 5. And then the last operation would be powering it by 10. The other key skill is that you need to be able to look at some complicated long expression as a single variable or a single term. So let's try that. The way we do chain rule is to look at the last operation first. So this is some function raised to the power of 10. You need to be able to look at say 2x plus 5 here as if it were an x. It's not that we are changing 2x minus 5 to an x, but we are pretending that it is just a single x. But when we write it down, it will be the same form. So here we differentiate the outermost operation first. We bring 10 down. We keep the inner parts the same. In this case, it's 2x minus 5. According to the power rule, we would subtract the power by 1. So we get 9 here. After we have differentiated the outermost function, we go one layer inside from the power of 10, which is this linear function right here in this part. What we see inside, we differentiate it. So this time we're going to differentiate this whole part here. Differentiating 2x minus 5, we get just 2, right? So the result we get from differentiating the inner part, we will multiply outside everything. So we multiply 2 outside the whole term there. So if we simplify this, we will just get 20 2x minus 5 to the power of 9. That is simple, right? Let's try another one. So I had earlier sine of x squared plus 5. x squared plus 5 need to be done first. That means the outermost function is sine. Differentiating sine, we get a cos. The inner parts must be kept the same. So we write the same thing here. And again, we go inside one layer, we see x squared plus 5. So I will have to differentiate x squared plus 5. Differentiating x squared plus 5, so we have just 2x plus 0, which is 2x. And you multiply that outside everything. So simplifying it gets 2x times cos x squared plus 5. I hope that's not too bad. Now let's do more layers. Ln of sine of 2x plus 5. As you can see, there are three types of function. So the innermost function is the 2x plus 5 here inside everything. And then the second innermost is the sine function here. And the outermost function is the log or natural log here. So as the outermost function is a ln of something, this whole thing here, we will pretend that it is just a single x maybe. Differentiating ln x, we have 1 over x. But when we say x, we need to write the whole thing. So that would be 1 over sine of 2x plus 5. If we go one layer inside, we're going to see sine of 2x plus 5. Again, the outermost operation of sine 2x plus 5 is the sine function. That means we need to differentiate this sine function. And this is another chain rule. We're going to differentiate and keep multiplying next to the result we got already. So differentiating a sine, we get a cos, but keeping the inner part the same. So we have to write 2x plus 5 here again. But we're not done because we could go another layer inside from the sine. And now we meet 2x plus 5. Differentiating 2x plus 5, we just get 2. So we just multiply it outside everything. So the concept here is just to differentiate from the outside in. I hope I have made it simple enough for you to understand easily. Again, if you didn't quite follow in terms of the differentiation formula, I recommend you check out this video. 
before you come to this again. If you are totally okay with this video, this video should be the next one you definitely should watch. I'll see you in there. Don't forget guys, keep studying. Bye.